Well, good afternoon. Today we're going to take a little uh, look at a paddle I did down the Speed River. Uh, the Speed River, this is in southwestern Ontario, uh, kind of in the Cambridge, Waterloo area. Uh, at any rate, I was down in the area over the Christmas holidays. Uh, I brought my uh, sea kayak with me. Um, and I was doing a bunch of kind of uh, kayaking during the day and kind of visiting in the evenings. Uh, so at any rate, I had a 17-foot uh, sea kayak with a carbon fiber pop-up sail rig with me because that's the kayak I brought. I had been doing some uh, kayak sailing off Toronto, uh, Hamilton Beach, Burlington Beach, and I did a solo trip down the Grand River. And uh, some friends of the family um, had heard that I was in the area. I'd never met them before, uh, but they were friends of the family. Uh, and they were doing this uh, kayaking trip down the Speed River. So they invited me along to join them on this uh, downriver trip. Now, they were all paddling uh, fishing style kayaks because that's the type of kayaking they do. Uh, but I didn't have that kind of boat with me. Uh, I, I don't even own a, a fishing style kayak. I've got my sea kayak, so that's what I brought. Uh, the sea kayak was fine. You know, it wasn't quite as maneuverable as the smaller um, fishing kayaks, but it, it was fine. There's lots of water to maneuver. Um, there's quite a bit of current uh, in the river, uh, which made you know, it, it's not a lot of effort. You're just kind of uh, really just maneuvering and, you know, a little bit of paddling here and there, but you can just kind of enjoy the ride with the current. The only real hazards, uh, aside from the cold, the cold air and the cold water, that is, where there were quite a bit of sweepers. So sweepers are where you've got tree branches coming down to the water surface. Um, and the hazard there is if you get caught up by the branches, uh, then then the current can cause your boat or, or you to uh, become overcome by the current. So you want to stay out of the branches at the edges, and that's exactly what I did. But the uh, water itself, uh, I don't think any of it would really be considered classed white water. Uh, it, to me, it would be swifts and gravel runs but I, I don't even think it would qualify as class one. It might, you know, with the sweepers and the uh, the chutes, might be considered class one. But it's uh, pretty accessible kayaking uh, for most people, uh, you know, with the exception of the cold. Um, now, I did, uh, I, you know, I was fully equipped with all my sea kayaking gear for this trip, so... I had on a dry suit, a life jacket, I had my PLB, I think I had a spot, I had a, a, a helmet, um, which is, you know, maybe overkill for this kind of trip, but I didn't know what kind of what kind of paddling I was going to be doing. It was like, you know, th these guys called, called us up and said, you know, do you want to come on this trip? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to check out a, a new river to paddle, so... So I, I came and I came fully equipped. So this here, this is a gravel quarry that we're kind of uh, drifting slash paddling past on the right. So that's why you've got the steep rock uh, banks on the right. Um, there were quite a few little features. Now it was, I, I, I guess you would describe the area as rural. It, it wasn't wilderness, but it wasn't town either. But there were features along the way to look at um, old collapsed bridges, this quarry, um, every so often there'd be a fence line. Uh, there was some ice on the river. Uh, it wasn't uh, wasn't a lot. It was just in the bays. So in the main stream where the current was, uh, there was no ice. But if you turned off into a bay, there was some ice. But it, it wasn't so thick that you couldn't paddle through it. Uh, we stopped for lunch for um, an hour or so had a big bonfire cooked a bunch of food cooked sausages and hung out got warmed up a bit before we got back on the water i didn't do a lot of uh filming after lunch because uh 
it was a more flat water paddling after lunch, but uh, I did a little bit more. The total trip was fairly long. It was four or five hours on the water, even with the current. So uh, it, it was nice. All right, that's that's all I have. That's just a quick video of kayaking on the Speed River. Thank you. Bye.